welcome back to my channel happy friday everybody let's go ahead and get our day started for today's video i will be taking you all along my day of low calorie eating and today we are also going grocery shopping i feel like the week ha the weeks have been flying by i feel like i'm constantly going grocery shopping but i do go grocery shopping once a week usually it's every thursday so that's going to be today is going to be our grocery uh haul for the week i'm actually going to san antonio next week so i'm only planning some meals up to like wednesday so so gonna be a little bit of a short week um, I'm going to be going to San Antonio next week for Easter and I'm so excited but this morning I actually woke up with a really bad headache and I was feeling super nauseous so I didn't know how I was gonna feel today I wasn't able to go to the gym but I have been going to the gym consistently you guys these past few weeks it's I've been feeling amazing I'm feeling good I'm feeling alive getting into my workouts and I've just been having a good few weeks okay but this morning I decided not to go to the gym because I wasn't feeling well I didn't want to push my body um I just took it slow this morning to see how I was going to feel later. I made a grocery list and now I'm feeling good. As you can see, I got ready for the day, but I haven't had any breakfast. For one, I wasn't feeling good and then I wasn't hungry. So we're going to go ahead and grab a quick lunch before we head on to the grocery store. Taco Bell came out with their new chicken cantina line, if you did see it. I think they came out with it maybe two days ago or something yesterday. I don't know. Um, but they came out with their new chicken cantina line and they do have a new chicken bowl that I want to go ahead and try. Um, so it's around. I think 400 some calories 50 calories they came out with a new green salsa that it comes with so in the bowl I'll go ahead and pop it up right here it has rice this is a lower calorie bowl but you can make it keto I'll go ahead and explain how but it comes with rice chicken uh, black beans or green salsa lettuce tomato sour cream cheese all the good stuff that you want in a bowl you can make it keto if you are doing strictly keto you just have to do extra protein extra lettuce you can take out the beans or rice if you do want a quick I know it's not I know some people don't like to just pay for that you can make it on your own but if you're like all the go and that's like your only option there is options that you can go ahead and have but today we're going to be trying their new bow for lunch we're gonna be eating in our car before we go ahead and head off to the grocery store so let's go ahead and head to Taco Bell what can I talk about? How may I help you? hi can I have the new chicken cantina bowl um, can I have some Diablo sauce with that as well and then what diet drinks do y'all have? Do y'all have Coke Zero? We have Pepsi Zero. Okay, Pepsi Zero is fine. Just a small. And that'll be it. All right, guys, I went ahead and picked up the Taco Bell new can chicken cantina bowl, okay? So they had the original chicken bowl that they always used to have, but this one's a little bit different, so we're gonna see what they put in this one. And this one comes with a special avocado ver verde, verde. <laughs> I can never pronounce that word salsa which is just a green salsa okay okay so this one looks look how it looks oh that looks so good so freaking good I love Taco Bell's bows for like quick and easy because I love Chipotle but Chipotle can get a little bit pricey so this one well I did get a drink but the bow itself the bow itself is $7.99 okay and then i did get a drink so got that on site but the bowl itself is $7.99 not too bad because i spent like double at chipotle okay but it's a good size this looks like it's gonna fill us up so this has their rice black beans cheese their chicken uh pico it does have some shredded cabbage in here sour cream shredded lettuce and guacamole and then you get your green salsa and i will pack i did pop up the macros for this um one for this bowl okay but we're gonna go ahead and put the green salsa on here i did get my diablo sauce too because i love diablo diablo sauce but i'm gonna go ahead and try it with just the salsa first i did get um i needed a drink with this uh i don't really like i don't drink too much soda but i got a diet pepsi I'm excited to try this. I'm excited that they brought out a new bowl and not just like tacos and burritos. They actually wrote out a new bowl. So I'm really excited about it. All right, let's go ahead and dig in. First try, I wanna get everything. I don't really, sometimes I like their guacamole and sometimes I don't, I don't know. It's a little too fake for me, but it's, it's okay. Mm. 
Mmm. Oh, I love the mixing of the cabbage. Let me try just the chicken and that salsa. Oh, the salsa has a kick to it. Mmm. Okay. I really like this one. Their chicken is so good. The salsa has a kick to it. The chicken is nice and seasoned. Their rice is so good. I love the black beans. Everything is really good. It goes well mixed together. This is a great bowl. I'm going to add a little Diablo because I love Diablo. Comment down below what is your favorite salsa from Taco Bell. <laughs> or what is your favorite thing to order. But this is going to be a great option for on the go if you just want to pick something quick up. So let me know if y'all do try their new line. Whatever y'all try, let me know how you like it. But this is so good. I love the crunch from it, from the cabbage. The salsa is so creamy, so good. It does have a little spice to it. And then their chicken is nicely seasoned. Mm -hmm. This is a great lunch. We are currently in the parking lot of Kroger. Just put up to Kroger. We're going to be grabbing our weekly groceries. And I'll go ahead and show you all my meal plan, what I plan to make with these groceries. I did have a couple meals roll over from last week because I got super busy and then I wasn't hungry like the night of for dinner. So I had a couple meals roll over but we still have some meals, good meals planned. And then hopefully I can find those new keto bagels that I didn't get to find last week. Hopefully there's some in stock and we can try those as well this week. Mm. But really good bowl you guys. Give it a try if you are wanting some lower calorie options. Oh, spicy. If you do want some lower calorie options, um, again, you can make it keto. Just take out the rice, the beans, and then you can add extra protein, extra whatever you would like to add extra of, and then you can make it filling that way as well. But I'm going to go ahead, sit down, and enjoy my meal in my car, and then we will go ahead and go in and grab some groceries. Okay, first thing I'm going to grab is some wraps because I'm going to be doing some um, breakfast burritos. These are the whole wheat wraps. I'm going to go ahead and grab these, the bigger ones. Still no restock on the keto bagel thins. Hopefully next time. Gotta get the pickles. Oh my god, you guys, I love graham crackers. I'm definitely going to try this coffee. You guys, I've been wanting to try this Pete's one, but I feel like it's always so expensive. Has anybody tried these? Let me know if y'all like them. I saw a video on a lady saying that this tea works great for energy. I'm just going to try it and give it a try in the morning, see how it goes. I've been seeing these bars everywhere, and I really wanted to try them, but 410 calories in one bar, that's a lot. I mean, it does have a good amount of protein, but dang, that's a lot of calories. This one is 390. Woo, that's like a whole meal for real. Always got to have the goat peak on hand. We need a couple of calabacitas for this week's live. Y'all requested to see a calabacita recipe. y'all i am back home from grocery shopping i put up my groceries and i got a couple packages in just gonna show y'all what i got so first package for my kids my two older kids my uh younger son actually already has some sandals but i ordered them some crocs because you know spring is here they outgrew their other ones my middle son wanted some red crocs i actually got these on sale and then he wanted these little minecraft gibbets is that what they're called 
I don't know, I think that's what they're called. He wanted red Crocs with a little Minecraft. He's gonna love these. And then my older son, he wanted the new drop of the Nor Nor Norato, Nor Norato. <laughs> oh my God, these are so cool. These just came out not too long ago. He's a big fan of anime, so I got him these Crocs. They have two of them, uh, but he wanted these. They are so freaking, oh, they light up, no way. I didn't even know they light up. Light up. What lights up? Okay, we gotta take them off. I didn't even know they light up. That's really cool. Oh, this little tr this little charm lights up. Y'all saw that? Okay. Cute. So this was my first package. If y'all have kids that are into this show anime, they do have these Crocs. Okay. So cute. I gotta put these little gibbets on these. And then second package is for me. I got a new little kitchen product because it was on sale. I didn't realize that it was coming in today or else I would have bought everything that went in it. I totally forgot. Um, so this is, I'll have this linked in my Amazon storefront in the description below. But I always, so in my cabinet over here, I always have like my gallon bags, my snack bags, and they're always just thrown up top and I can never reach them. They're never organized. So I bought a little organizer for them. So this one is, it carries sandwich, sandwich bags, snack bags, quart bags, and gallon bags. And then it just keeps everything nice and organized so they're not all over the place. Look at this, cute. And they do come apart so like you could uh, organize them however you want to fix, fit your cabinet. They're all, not all just like stuck together. I think I do have some snack bags on hand and some gallon bags, but I need to buy some quart bags and sandwich bags. Oh, I love these. And then they come with these little sticky so they don't move all over the place when you want to set them in a specific spot. I gotta make, I wanna make a little area, so I'm not gonna put them in my cabinet right now, but I'll go ahead and put the gallons in there. Okay, so you just take your gallon bags. I wanna get the foil one and the parchment paper one because they do sell those as well. And you just put them in here and then they're nice and organized and you don't have to have the ugly boxes everywhere and you just pull them out. Cute, I love little stuff like this and I'm pretty sure y'all do too. Little snack bags. Yes, look how much, look how better that looks. I love that. So it'll be linked in the description below in my Amazon storefront under kitchen favorites if y'all would like to check these out. It's Friday, you guys. We are at Bucky's with the boys. Say hi. Hi. Always gotta get the midday coffee. I got my midday coffee, you guys, that I always usually get from Bucky's. The boys got their snacks. They come to Bucky's every single Friday. I'm sorry if you don't live near a Bucky's. <laughs> they got all the good snacks. They got a lot of keto snacks here, you guys. They got tons of different beef jerky flavors. Um, they got zero sugar chocolates, more like on the lower carb side. They got chicharrones and all different flavors, even from the brand Bucky's itself. So if you're ever near Bucky's, there is options that you can always have. But these super coffee coffees are my absolute favorite that I discovered them. Um, I have them in moderation because they do have a little bit more sugar because they are pretty sweet. But they are so good. They are so good. Y'all need to try them. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and write down my menu so I can show y'all what I'm having for the week. I was going to do this earlier, but I didn't have time. So today is Friday. We're going to go ahead and write down what we had for lunch. And then I'm going to write down what I'm having for dinner. So usually I write an L and then a D for dinner, of course, for lunch. Okay, we had Taco Bell today. I even write down my to-go options. I love to keep everything in order. What I'm having, that looks weird. What I'm having throughout the week, if I am having a busy day or I know I'm gonna get to go, usually I write that down. For dinner, you guys, tonight I am actually craving some keto taco soup. 
It was a rainy day yesterday, and I swear to God, not kidding you, at 11 o'clock at night, I was like, you know what? I am craving taco soup. I am going to have that tomorrow. So today, we're having taco soup for dinner. I don't care. I was craving it last night so bad, so I had to have it. Saturday, um, I usually do like leftovers for breakfast, but I actually, I loved, if y'all saw my last post, oh, not my last post, but one of my, a few posts ago, I made some avocado toast with some cottage cheese, some honey, some shaved and boiled egg, and it was so freaking good. I'm addicted. So I'm having that for breakfast. And then for dinner, I'm going to be having some ground uh, turkey, sweet potato skillet. So it's just like some ground turkey with some sweet potatoes um, topped with some cheese and some cilantro, just like an easy little skillet. So that will be for tomorrow. Sunday, I do not cook. I usually have leftovers or to go, but I'm actually meal prepping for the week on Sunday. I usually do that on Sundays. That's why I usually get to go. So I'm just going to write down what I'm meal prepping. So usually I've been meal prepping breakfast and lunch only. So I'm actually doing some low calorie burritos for breakfast for throughout the week. Um, I had got those keto chicken strips. I'm kind of making like Kind of like you would do like a little Chick-fil-A bowl, but in a burrito instead. And then um, I had got those chicken strips. I'm putting some eggs in there, some cheese, um, and it's going to be easy burrito. Oh, not D. Okay, we're going to do our meal prep for lunch. For lunch, I'm doing um, chicken bacon ranch pasta. Um, so it's using that uh, protein pasta. And then I make my like low calorie ranch, add a little bacon, and it's really, really good. Chicken bacon ranch pasta. And then usually I get to go on Sundays, like I said. We're going to Monday, next Monday, okay? Um, next Monday for lunch, I'm having one of my meal preps, so a chicken bacon ranch pasta. So I just put meal prep option for lunch since I will be meal prepping that following Sunday or this Sunday it'll roll over to Monday for dinner I'm having protein uh, zucchini pasta so it has like zucchini chicken it's it's super good and simple Tuesday I will um, for lunch I think I'll have again my meal prep No prep for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm going live on Tuesday on YouTube. So y'all requested some calabacitas. So I will be having that. Calabacitas, if you don't know what it is, I do have a video of a keto one, but I think I'm making it low calorie that day. But still, I'm just adding like one uh, can of corn. So yeah. Um, but calabacitas is like, it's a Mexican squash. So that's why it's called calabacitas. And then you mix it with pork chops, some tomatoes, onions, and it's so good. Um, so we're having that on Tuesday, Wednesday, um, again, I will be having my lunch for meal, pre my meal prep for lunch. Makes everything so much easier. You guys, that's why I've been prepping on Sundays. Um, it makes everything cheaper cause I already have meals on hand and then I'm going to be having some Chinese green beans and ground Turkey. Not that the green beans are Chinese, but like the sauce that I'm putting on it. So Chinese green beans and ground turkey. So this one's like another skillet. And then that following Thursday, I'm actually going to San Antonio. So I'm gonna put San Antonio. So I didn't plan any meals for that day. I have my kids field trips that day. So I'm put slash field trips. This day is going to be so busy i have field trips to go to thursday i have san antonio to go to thursday so it's going to be an eventful day okay so here is my menu for the week just some very very simple options for y'all to enjoy 
and hopefully this can give you all some meal ideas. All right, you guys, it's officially time for dinner. I made my boys dinner and it's about that time. The day flew by today, but we're gonna go ahead and make some taco soup. This is a keto recipe. It's one of my old like first videos I ever made on YouTube. It's so good, okay? I was craving taco soup so bad, so I really wanna make it tonight. It's just a consist of some ground beef, taco seasoning, a little cabbage, rotel, super simple to make, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cook down some ground beef. I like to cook it first, and then I'll season it once it's done cooking through. Okay, once you have the ground beef cooked through, you're gonna go ahead and add in a packet of taco seasoning. You do want to drain your ground beef if you have a lot of fat, but I went in with lean ground beef, so it didn't need to be drained. You're also going to season with some salt and pepper to taste. And we're also going to add in eight ounces of softened cream cheese. I did go in with the lesser fat cream cheese just for a little less calories. And then to help mix in the cream cheese, you're going to add in one can of Rotel with the juice. And then we're just going to go ahead and mix it up until the cream cheese is well combined with the ground beef. While the cream cheese is cooking down, this is a time where I like to take my cabbage and chop it up using my new ninja knives. I'm so excited about these. All right, I'm just gonna go in half the cabbage because it was pretty big, pretty large. I gotta be careful with these knives because they're pretty sharp. All right, so I'm just gonna chop it into pieces and then I'm gonna give it a good rinse because it's pretty dirty. Take out this center part. Sometimes I chop it into strips, but this time I'm just gonna go in with like squares. Ooh, this cabbage is dirty. You gotta rinse this really well. Okay, now that we have that cream cheese mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add in our cabbage. Give it a good mix, cause we're gonna go ahead and add in some chicken broth. I go in with chicken broth. I've always gone in with chicken broth with this recipe, but you can definitely go in with uh, beef broth if that's what you prefer. So we're gonna go ahead and cover this with some chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good mix and then we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a simmer before we cover it with the lid. Okay, once it comes to a simmer, we're gonna go ahead and cover it not with that lid, with this lid. <laughs> and you're gonna go ahead and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, you guys, my soup is done. I thought I was recording when I put in the chopped cilantro, but I went ahead and put in some chopped cilantro. Um, and then that's the last ingredient I go ahead and add into my soup. And then when you serve it up, I go ahead and top it off with some cheddar cheese. And then our soup is ready. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that this is probably one of my favorite soups to make. It's so good. So filling, so y'all definitely need to give it a try. Let's go ahead and serve us up a bowl of our taco soup. I promise you, I could probably eat this whole pot for myself. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> All right. My son loves this soup too, my little one. Extra juice. Then I go in with a little bit of mild cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you want, honestly, but I've always gone in with some cheddar. And then this is not, I mean, you don't have to, of course, but I've always topped mine off with some red chili flakes because I don't know, I just like the spice with the soup. It's just so freaking good. So I've always put red chili flakes on mine, but you don't have to. All right, guys, and here is dinner, our taco soup. I know it's weird to be having some soup around this time, but it was such a rainy day yesterday and I was just craving it so bad. Y'all definitely need to try it. It is so comforting and very filling and just so good. For my drink, I'm going ahead and having my Gold Peak tea that I picked up today. One of my absolute favorites. All right, let's Charlie dig in. I know it's kind of hot right now, but <laughs> my mouth is watering. Mmm, <laughs> mm, so good. If y'all give this taco soup a try, let me know how y'all liked it. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and enjoy this and we'll be back shortly because today is Friday. I will be gaming with my husband tonight. So usually I like to have a little snack. 
All right, y'all, so I ate dinner. It was super good. Right now, I'm playing some games with friends and my husband. And while I'm gaming, I'm just gonna have a little late night sweet treat since it's a weekend. Usually, I have like a little sweet treat or something. This ones are the no sugar added uh, fudge pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and have one of these fudgicles. These are only 40 calories per pop and they are so good. But after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and end my day. I really hope y'all enjoyed this quick grocery haul and this uh, day of eating. Um, hopefully this gives y'all some mayo ideas. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.